So for our next dish, uh, we've used salmon, uh, river salmon, and we've applied a bunch of different techniques to it to really show the versatility and the beauty of the fish itself. And I describe our cuisine as being uh, natural quite a bit, and so we really want to do and capture um, you know, salmon as it is in nature, more so than just the, the techniques, but also in the presentation. So what we have here, uh, starting with this one, this is actually uh, cured salmon belly, which this is in the cure, which contains a lot of different citrus peel, uh, strong essence of lemon, some coriander, and sea salt. So we're gonna leave this in there for about 12 hours, uh, just totally encased in, in, the, uh, in the spices itself. The next one we have is a cured salmon, which this is from the actual loin, the top side. So it contains a little less fat than the belly would. And so with this one, it gets cured and then a very, very light amount of smoke, just barely touched at all, just to give a little more element to, uh, to the salmon. So it's not necessarily that you're gonna taste smoke, but your palate will definitely recognize something's, um, there's, a, there's a little more depth than just regular salmon. This tube that we have here is actually more of the belly, which we've made a mousse, and it contains a bunch of different herbs that taste really, really delicious with the salmon and with each other. Uh, a lot of dill, basil, uh, parsley, tarragon. So just a lot of really bright, bright flavors that, that bring out uh, the salmon and go really well together. So first we're gonna start with the salmon that's been uh, made into our sheet with the herb mousse. And this is gonna be the first component that we put down on the plate. So this is gonna go on the actual river slate itself, which is located here in the center. Next, we're gonna move on to the marinated salmon and put it on one of our natural river rocks. So two of these guys. Now we're gonna start with everything that really makes the dish come alive. So go with just a few touches of the row. It's important for everything to work well together. Nothing overpower each other or be too much. and a little on top of each of our marinated pieces as well. So next, we're gonna move into our garnishes here on the side. A little cherry balm radish. Gives a really nice texture. Also a tiny bit of heat as well, which some people don't consider coming from radish, but it's a great, great uh, versatile vegetable. Some tiny little watermelon cucumber, which has a very nice cucumber flavor, as well as a little acidity, which goes very well with this dish and the other components. Some anise blossoms here. It's a very uh, beautiful floral flavor. Also a lot of color pops on the dish. And we like to use uh, a decent amount of blossoms and herbs here. Very identifiable flavors that add a lot to our cuisine. We're gonna go in with just a few touches of creme fraiche along the base here. And then we're gonna add our uh, crispy pumpernickel bread. So this will actually finish up our presentation of the dish, but we have one more touch that we add just before it is taken to the dining room. And again, this is to try to help capture um, the salmon in its natural state, as you'd find uh, in the morning on a river. So we would have just a small amount of, uh, of haze coming off the water. Kind of help everything seem a little more at calm, at peace, as you'd find it. I hope you've enjoyed everything that we've done for you today. Um, there's many more dishes like this that we use on the menu at True, so hopefully we have the opportunity to cook for you soon.